Welcome! So I just bought this new pressure cooker. This is a uh, Presto 23 quart. Um, some of you may know I already have the 18 quart, but this is actually on sale right now on Amazon. I'll put the link below. It's on sale for uh, $63, so I couldn't resist. Uh, and uh, it's a slight improvement over what I have, so I went ahead and got it. And uh, I mainly use the, the smaller Presto for doing like agar or small, small things, like use a bag or two, or say if I have five bags of spawn, six bags of spawn that I want to run. I can do it in here and it'll cycle quicker because it's smaller, it's less less weight. The All-American weighs, I think it's like 30, 45 pounds, and uh, that takes the whole thing longer to heat up and longer to cool down. So what I'm doing here is I'm drilling it out, I use some cutting oil, this is actually a mixture of like 10% oil, a special cutting oil, with water, and that cools it down, and I, I pre-drilled it to the proper size, and now I'm just tapping that with a, a pipe thread fitting uh, tap. And then when you tap it, you want to go in. Uh, hold on. So it goes, it was already tapped partially. So you go in and you back it out. And you go in and you back it out. And that clears it out and makes a nice clean thread. And you don't want to go all the way in. You just want to go about two thirds of the way in with these pipe threads, pipe taps. And then I use this flare fitting. And it, it, you can either use, oh, not, not a flare fitting, yeah, it's a flare fitting, you, or a pipe, pipe fitting, a crush washer. So you can either use one of these with these O-rings, and I get these from, from Brew Hardware. They're little uh, uh, red O-rings. And uh, you can do that, but then you just have to drill it out. I got this from Amazon. Or you can go ahead and just buy the whole shebang from Brew Hardware where it's a uh, ready to rock and roll without having to do the pipe thread. These are like, I think, 15 bucks. And it's weldless, so you just, or tapless for that matter. You just drill a slightly bigger hole and then run this through and then your probe would go into that. And uh, this is like, the, doing the probe on my, my uh, pressure cooker is one of the first mods that I did with like automating stuff. And I can tell you like it saved me, it saved me hundreds of hours now. And I could, I could run it while I'm inside, I could run it while I run around, whatever, like go shopping or work on other stuff and not have to worry about it. Cause all you have to do is just make sure that the cycle starts and the pressure builds up and then just walk away. Uh, let me go to brush really quick. So yeah, once you tap it out, um, I'm gonna use some, I have some like aircraft grade uh, high performance thread sealant, like for hydraulics and stuff like that. And it actually hardens, I really like this stuff. So I'm gonna use that for, for the threads and they look nice and clean. Looks like damn near machined. So this is what I'm using, I'm using uh, Permatex 56521. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a mechanic in the Air Force, so we use some handy, you know, handy uh, chemicals. And this is one that I latched onto. I, I used it before in the desert, and it works really good. So easy to apply, and like I said, it hardens. I'm gonna screw that guy in, and then. Um, after this, I'm actually going to be installing it. The reason why I got this weld, this one, is for my, is for my, my boiler, not my boiler, but my, my drum steamer. So I, I bought a probe and it's like a four inch probe, but I have it bolted to the wall and it's a little bit uh, long. It sticks out into the, it sticks out, you know? So what I want to do is I want to put the weld is fitting on there and then just have it sticking out like an inch, not even. That should be good. Let me check how far it is on the inside. And then all you do is you take the, uh, well I have it, I have the other part of this inside there on the probe. Make sure we're in all the way. Yeah, we're in all the way. Maybe do another half turn. And so yeah, the nice part about this is it lets you adjust the height. So if you have, I, I'll, I even swap the probe between my pressure cook, my AA and my, my Presto. So let me go show you guys how it hooks up. It's pretty straightforward, but I'll show you guys. For those of you who haven't seen, there's the, here's the, the All-American setup, where it's like a T. I actually went, I didn't modify the All-American, all, or not modify, but I didn't drill this one. All I did was put a T in, and then I still have my, my pressure gauge over here, 
and then I have the probe going straight through and it sticks through the other end. It's actually barely sticking through right now, but it, it sticks through. Um, and then what I do is when I want to swap them, I guess I might need to go get a wrench, so here we go. When I want to swap them from the Presto to the All-American, all I do is loosen it up. And swap the whole shebang. And I don't like to, I don't like to actually pull the probe out of the O-ring because I notice that it wears the O-rings down a lot quicker, slipping them on and off. So all I do is I unbolt the whole thing, leave the O-rings on there, and I actually got these new replacement O-rings. That O-ring's about, I don't know, three years old, and it's still holding pressure, but it looks pretty sad. That's why I went ahead and ordered some new ones. Uh, I had to crank down my my nut last time I ran this thing. And for whatever reason, they used two, so I'm gonna use two. I've used one for the longest time, but that's what they recommend is to use two. And then you just kind of pull it into the, you kind of just pull them into where the thread it is. It's, it's, it's a tight fit. So, and then that would just go onto here. If I want to do it on that one, I just screw it down and then make sure that the probe is sticking through a little bit. You see it coming out right there. So I can adjust the height. You don't want to have it poke bags. That's one thing you got to watch out for. Is is if you're uh, you know putting bags in here, and you have the probe in too far, it might poke a hole in the bag. So you, you just want it barely inside of the inside of the uh, pressure cooker. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that video. I, I haven't done like a actually me doing something video with you guys like forever. I don't think, or in a, at least in a long time. So check that box. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. And this, this is the uh, the PID that I use. You could also just buy a uh, a ready to rock unit. One of my students, Jewel, she went and bought from Auburn. They sell um, it's a plug and play. So it's the same thing, the same PID. Or actually, you can get the same PID, but I told her just get the timer one. This is a 30 step, but you can get a cheaper one where it's just a two two timer steps. And uh, that's really all you need for like pressure cookers and drums, unless you're getting crazy and you want to have it like turn on your flow hood or like drain it or anything complicated like that, uh, which I would like to do eventually, but I'm not there yet, but I have the capability. Um, so yeah, the, the ready to rock ones are about, I think it was $240 or something like that. And all you do is you buy it and you plug it in and you just need a 20 amp outlet for it. And you could be doing the automated pressure cooker. You would just need to get this or, or the, the plug and play and then put a probe in your your pressure cooker and hack the uh the hot plate the way that i did which i have a video on how i, ha I hacked it recently so you can check that out um i'll put, put a link above for that but yeah uh hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos and and hopefully you guys are having a good uh almost holiday season so yeah until then uh, keep on mushrooming subscribe if you haven't already give me a thumbs up and take it easy